Hi, Dr. Todd Dunn here. This is the seventh video in my chronic lymphocytic leukemia series. Today, I'm going to be talking about a relatively simple subject, lymphocyte doubling time. We all know that lymphocyte doubling time is an indication of how rapidly your chronic lymphocytic leukemia is progressing. In terms of doubling time, there's a sort of benchmark at six months. If your doubling time is six months or less, the disease is considered to be progressing rapidly. If the doubling time is longer than six months, the disease is considered to be progressing less rapidly. And if it's quite a bit longer than six months, the disease would be considered indolent. So, what can we say about doubling time? Today, what I want to do is show you how to determine your lymphocyte doubling time. Now this will involve a little bit of arithmetic, but nothing fancy. The procedures that I'm going to be talking about can be done with many hand calculators, and since all of you are watching this on YouTube, that means you have a computer, and if you have a spreadsheet program on your computer, that program can do these calculations with just a few clicks. So lymphocyte doubling time is not a difficult concept to understand, but it does involve, as I said, a little bit of arithmetic. So let's get going. So the numbers we're going to be using for this evaluation of lymphocyte doubling time is the absolute lymphocyte count which is part of your complete blood count, or CBC. This diagram shows an absolute lymphocyte count plotted as ALC divided by 1,000, just to get the numbers smaller, versus time in years. The black line with the green dots on it is synthetic data that I created for someone with a lymphocyte doubling time of two years. Now this looks like a straight line on this diagram, that's largely a function of, of the scale of the diagram, but let me assure you, it is not a straight line. It's actually what's called an exponential curve. And that's a consequence of how cells propagate within your body. So let's move on and look at a little bit of the arithmetic involved. And this is going to be the toughest part, but all you have to do is look at it. As I just said, cell growth is an exponential function. Basically, look at it this way. If you have one cell and it divides, then you have two cells. If those two cells divide, you have four cells. And if you have four cells and they divide, you end up with eight cells. That's not a straight line progression in the number of cells. It's what's called a geometric or exponential pr progression. The equation that describes cell growth is here in which the number of cells, nt, at a given time is equal to the number at time 0, n sub 0, times e to the power k times t, where k is a constant which depends on the rate of cell division, and t is simply time. So this is an exponential equation. It's a very simple equation to deal with. Although, as we'll see a little later, while it's possible to fit this equation to a data set, because it's nonlinear, it's a little bit tricky. So we're going to use a little trick to turn it into a straight line equation later on. So that's the cell growth equation that we're going to use to analyze the doubling time. Now let's go back to the data and start looking at how exactly we do this doubling time calculation. This diagram it's the same as the one I showed before, except that I have built an event into it. At the big beginning of the diagram, the left-hand side, you can see the green dots, which are showing a doubling time of two years. So this is slow progression of CLL. This patient is being monitored every two months, which is perhaps a little more frequently than someone with such a slow progression uh, would be monitored, but I wanted to put some data points on here simply for reasons of illustrating the procedure. But you can see here that around a year, maybe a little after a year, something happens. The rate of growth of, in the number of lymphocytes goes up, starts going up more quickly than the black line would indicate for a two-year doubling time. 
So this plot right here shows that the doubling time has decreased. In other words, the lymphocyte population is growing more quickly. So what are we going to do? We want to take this data and we want to somehow find out what the new doubling time is, shown by the red dots, and also maybe find out when the more rapid progression began. And we're going to use a regression analysis to do that. As I said, this is not anything difficult. Many hand calculators will allow you to do this on them if you have statistical functions on the hand calculator. And any spreadsheet can do this. So it's not difficult. You don't need to understand the mathematics behind regression analysis. You just have to understand how to put the data into your calculator or your spreadsheet. And since every calculator and every spreadsheet is different, I'm not going to explain exactly how that works. But let's go from this plot of data to the raw data and a couple of equations and I'll explain the analysis. The left hand side of this slide shows the raw data. I've got time, and this is just the time between data points. I've arbitrarily set the first of the red data points on, from the diagram I just showed you as time zero. The next data point was 28 days later, then 56, 84, 112, and 140 days. The next column is the absolute lymphocyte count in terms of number of cells per microliter. And I'll come back to the third column in a second. So what are we going to do to analyze this? Well, first, we have to look at the equation that describes lymphocyte doubling. And that is very simple. I've changed the laboring a little bit. ALC at a given time is equal to ALC at time zero, in this case, 36,700, times E raised to the power KT, where again, K is simply a constant that we're going to determine by regression analysis, and T is our time. In this equation, t is the independent variable, and alc is the dependent variable, because alc depends on time. We could use a non-linear regression to fit this equation to the data that I have there on the left. But that's a little bit more complicated than most spreadsheets or any hand calculator will let you do. So I'm going to use a little trick to convert this from an exponential equation that's curved on an xy plot into a straight line plot. To do that, we simply take the logarithm of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we end up with the log of the absolute lymphocyte count is equal to the log of the initial absolute lymphocyte count plus our constant k times time. This is a straight line equation with slope k and intercept log ALC sub zero, or initial lymphocyte count. We can use our spreadsheet or hand calculator to do a linear regression fit of this equation to the data. But we have to have time, which we already have, and we also have to have the logarithm of the absolute lymphocyte count. So that's what my third data column is. I've taken the logarithm of the absolute lymphocyte count using my hand calculator and written the numbers down here. I can put these numbers in time and log of absolute lymphocyte count into my spreadsheet and simply click the appropriate button, buttons and run a regression analysis of the data. When I do that, I get the result here, shown under where it says linear regression fit, that the log of the absolute lymphocyte count is equal to 10.51176, which is the logarithm of the initial absolute lymphocyte count, where ALC0 was determined by the regression analysis, plus 0 0.005037 times t. And the point 0.005037 is k, which is our constant. So that's how we do the regression analysis. How do we get doubling time? Well, there's a simple relationship between doubling and 
the slope of this line. And that is that the lo natural log of 2 divided by the slope of the line, k, is equal to the doubling time in whatever units your time was in. For this particular result, the doubling time comes out to be 137 and a half days or about four and a half months. Now if this was you and you had this data for your lymphocyte counts as a function of time, this would suggest that you are ready for treatment. So let's go back and look at the graph again and I'll explain this a little bit more. Here's the absolute lymphocyte count plotted against time again. The green points again are where the doubling time looks like about two years. The black line is a calculated doubling time progression for two years of doubling time. The red data points are where the data start to deviate significantly from the two-year doubling time. So what I have done, just to reiterate, is I took the six red data points, I arbitrarily designated the first one as time zero, and I used linear regression analysis to fit the cell doubling equation to this data set shown by the red points, and then calculated a doubling time for those six data points. And that line that I derived is shown by the solid red line here connecting the red data points. Conveniently, they all fall on the line because this is, of course, a synthetic data set. A real data set, there'd be scatter around the line. Now, one of the things I wanted to do was go back and try and figure out when this more rapid progression began. As you can see, the last green data point is a bit above the black line, suggesting that maybe the more rapid progression had begun at that point. So in order to determine where the progression began in time, what I'm going to do is simply take my equation that I derived, and I'm going to put in time before the first red data point. So I put in basically three or four times and calculated where that equation would be at times before the first red data point. And those times are negative times. When I did that, the equation gave me the results shown by the dashed red line. Where that dashed red line intersects the black line, which was the prior two-year doubling time growth rate that the data we're showing when the, we're in the green points, is the point at which the new progression at the higher rate of doubling began. In this case, it was the day 348 since the initial data point when the person had a, an ALC of 15,000. And we can see that that dashed line goes right over the top of that green point before the first red point, which suggests that, yes, indeed, the last green point was already in the period when doubling was occurring. I didn't include it in the analysis because a small jump like that could be natural, simply a consequence of maybe having a cold or something like that. But since it falls on the trend, we can see that, no, it was really due to the increased doubling time. So this patient basically went for just under a year, about 11 months, at a two-year doubling time. Then something happened, and the rate of progression of their CLL increased, and the doubling time decreased to four and a half months, showing the much more rapid trend. Anyway, I hope this illustrates the procedure that's used to determine a doubling time. I want to make the point of saying that doubling time is best determined by looking at a number of data points of absolute lymphocyte count versus time. While it's possible to calculate the doubling time from two data points, it isn't a good idea because one of those data points may simply be a bump and may not be meaningful. So if you've got five or six data points and you do this kind of analysis, you can get a nice trend and see if the data points fit the equation well. 
And if they do, if they fall right on where the equation for doubling for the shorter doubling time suggests they should, then you can be pretty sure that the new shorter doubling time is real. Okay, it's a simple analysis. Anybody with a spreadsheet can do it. You can also use the understanding you've gained by watching this video to ask your doctor pointed questions about doubling time. Thank you very much. If you liked this video, click like. If you didn't like it, found it confusing, click dislike. But please tell me why so I can go back and maybe try to improve the video. If you want to get notice of when my next video is coming out, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.